in there. Ugh. So bored. Huh. What? I'm gonna watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Alright. Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, where the, where the hell is it? My goodness, um, huh. Maybe I left it upstairs. Let's go check there. What in the world? <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. Whoa, dude. Sorry, but what are you doing out here? Oh, sorry. You just, you, 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 you frightened me. You startled me there. I, I'm just going to bury my, my poor DVD. It got run over by a car today. Um, Why are you burying a DVD? Why not just throw it away? Because it's, it's a nightmare on Elm Street. It's like one of the first... DVDs I bought. It's got a lot of sentimental value. It just seems wrong to just throw it in the trash. So it's something that you really love? Well, I mean, it's no Dream Warriors or anything, but I mean, still, it's classic. It's better than Freddy is Dead. Very well, then. Um, come with me. Come with you. Come with me. Okay. Right here. Right here? Right here, right here. What is this place? It's the DVD cemetery. The DVD cemetery? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> What's gonna happen? I just put the DVD here yeah. and... You'll find out. Okay. Sometimes, that is better, that is better, that is better, that is better, that is better. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! <laughs> Nightmare Baby Circus. There we go. I said it seriously, sort of. Anyways, tonight, 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 the final episode. We have made it through the 31 nights, and I am truly grateful and also somewhat relieved because 
Oh my goodness, it just, it takes a toll. So, anyways, coming off of last night's episode, Pet Cemetery, it is only fitting to end on the remake, the reboot, the whatever, the reimagining, I don't know what they want to call it, but the 2019 version, Pet Cemetery. Yes, Pet Cemetery. So, what is Pet Cemetery about? Well, if you watched last episode, you pretty much know what it is. It's a doctor, except this time he moves from Boston to Maine. And uh, he, of course, wants to have the slow country life, uh, doesn't like to work the graveyard shift at the, uh, the hospital, which, you know, I guess is pretty, pretty bad. A lot of other bad things happen during the graveyard shift, anyways, according to movies I've seen. <laughs> anyways, so, of course, he moves his family down. There is, of course, this road where trucks are barreling through. Um, however, they don't really beat you over the head with that fact as much as they did in the first Pet Sanitary movie. Uh, a lot more subtle with that, but anyways... Things happen, the cat gets hit by the truck, and of course, they go to bury the cat in the pet cemetery, except the neighbor once again says, hey, you know what? Let's, let's go bury it somewhere else, right? So, of course, they go through and they traverse, at least they're not going through the Rocky Mountains <laughs> and the, the cliffs of Dover and all the other places. Uh, which seems like miles upon miles away. It seems a bit closer, but yet through some scary woods in a, in a boggy marsh swamp type area. And of course, they get there, buries the cat. The next day, of course, the cat is back and alive. The doctor, of course, is like, what the heck happened? I don't know. Maybe he was wrong. Maybe he wasn't really dead. But anyways, um, the cat, of course, is different, a bit more aggressive, a bit scarier. And, uh... Let's just say, of course, another family tragedy happens, except they kind of turn this tragedy on its head different than the original, and, uh, well, I mean different uh, in certain ways. Uh, still truck involved accident, and, uh, of course, the, the good doctor decides that uh, he's not ready to say goodbye to his loved one and buries that one in the forbidden zone and it does not go as planned just like in the original so let's get to those scores shall we violence and gore is a two out of five this movie is not as grotesque as the, as the original um the violence here is Pretty tame, except for, you know, a, a nice, uh, you know, uh, slicing of uh, certain areas. But there is no throat rippage. And, uh, yeah, there's even, even like the, you know, some of the, some of the, the fighting and the stabby stabby is not shown. And so it's, it's kind of tame, but still uh, has a good enough impact. And there is a bit of blood. So two out of five. So um, I would say the original definitely has a bit more uh, in it than this one does, uh, unfortunately. Sometimes I wonder more, uh, I would say, contemporary movies tend to not lean hard on the, the spectacle of violence and gore as much as uh, I would like. But it's still an, a fair amount. Two out of five, yeah, a little a below average in my opinion. Anyways, shock value, shock value here is a three out of five. Uh, there is a lot of good jump scares in this movie. I know some people go, oh, jump scares, my God. Well, you know what? I like them. There's, that's, you know, when people complain about jump scares, it, would, it, it, it comes off to me as if it's like people who complain about the ups and downs of roller coasters. It's like... That's why you go on the roller coaster, to have those ups and downs, to get that feeling of adrenaline and stuff. And jump scares, even though, I guess, yes, they're cheap, and some of them are, are thrown in there to just screw with you. But the thing is, if it does the trick, if it gets that adrenaline running, pumping, whatever, then, yeah, I think, I think that's fine. But whatever, you know, just uh, 
it, it's just weird to me because it's like it's a horror movie. It's supposed to kind of, you know, get you on edge and then freak you out. But apparently, I guess those same people uh, go on roller coasters for different reasons because uh, they enjoy the ride and the wind through their hair. And if it weren't for those damn ups and downs, it'd be a much more enjoyable experience. I don't know. Anyways, I mean, I can understand. I just, you know, think you're wrong. <laughs> anyway. So, um, three out of five uh, for the shock value uh, plot. I am giving this a solid four out of five. Look, this movie definitely addresses the issues of the original movie. Like I said, the original movie, it, it just doesn't have as much atmosphere as, as the remake does. The remake just kind of oozes atmosphere, and the feeling of dread is more present and actually, you get a sense more that the evil of the woods is permeating through this, manipulating people, getting into their minds and under their skin. And you get a better sense of that in this film than you really do in the first one. Uh, in this one, you, you get the thing, it's like, you know, it's that damn woods, it has a power, and it makes you come up with the sweetest excuses to go back and that's the kind of thing that I really do enjoy about this plus the ending is crazy and awesome and I like I just want to imagine that like the ending happens and then nothing no no more murder in within the family unit happens after that and they just have this sort of weird life <laughs> and it would be an interesting dark comedy for, like, Netflix or something to just have that uh, family dynamic. Um, God God help anyone who bullies the children. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, it just, I, I don't know. I just, I enjoyed it. I loved it. It's, it feels there's more stuff happening um, throughout the film. Uh, it doesn't meander. It isn't that much uh, shorter of a film, but... You definitely doesn't feel like it's 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 overly long. It it kind of flies by, which is nice. So it's it's well paced, and it just has this atmosphere, this creepy atmosphere. Sure, it does not have the the crazy creepiness of the uh, of the, the kind of the end fights that happen in the original. But you know, you just you know. You know, Daddy, let's play. It's just, that's just creepy altogether, you know. But, but this one definitely has a lot more atmosphere with the sound and the music and everything. Things just don't seem right pretty much from the get-go as opposed to um, what happens in the first one where it's like, okay, you know, maybe something, something, you know, and it's just, it's, it's like, like, like I've said before, it's kind of like flat and then bam. And while this one actually, uh, kind of just does the slow burn thing, uh, a lot more effectively. So I'm giving it a four out of five acting, also giving it a four out of five great emotional performances by the person who plays the wife, the, the daughter does great. The little kid, I mean, the, the, the little, like, wave thing at the end, you know, with the, the face of unsuredness, uh, and, like, uh, I don't know if this is going to be good. You know, those were great. Plus, honestly, once again, watching it again, the performance of the, the, the father, I thought was, was good. Like I said, you know... He kind of has this sort of stoicism, which some people might say, like, oh, well, you know, he's just acting with it. It's like, no, I think I think he, he, he internalizes a lot of the emotions. You get the whole single tear and the, and the blank look, but that's, I, I got it, because, I don't know, maybe in a way I'm like that sometimes uh, with my emotions. I know it's, it's hard to say, see that, but, you know, here I'm, I'm really, you know, trying to throw things out at you guys but uh, the thing the thing about it is just like the the scene that really gets me is like when he's sitting there uh with judd and they're drinking and, he, and he's like and judd's like oh i should have showed you that place and he's like 
and he's sitting there and he's not looking back and he's just drinking his uh, his alcoholic beverage and you know is it but you did you know kind of quietly and the thing about that was powerful to me because it's it's it goes he's like at that point he's like he's already made his decision it doesn't matter what he says this man is broken this man is 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 pretty much dead on the inside and he needs to he needs to do this and you know he can't and he and he knows that that if he if he if he looks the other guy in the eye if he you know says anything he might he might slip he might have a doubt so he's like locked in so i think i think that worked really well and i think that was pretty darn uh great performance there's also a scene in there where uh he gets the come clarity moment because he was delirious with madness uh, and then he gets this this sort of just this 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 moment where he's shook back into reality and realize like holy shit <laughs> oh no what did i do uh, uh, great! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some things. I gotta do some things. Uh, I got to do some things. Anyways, so I'm, I, I really do enjoy the performances all around. Um, yes, you could say that uh, that uh, the the character uh, probably like uh, Gwen's performance better. But I mean, you know, Herman Munster. Uh, he just has this the, the way he speaks his voice um, he kind of he kind of has that that homey backwoods flavor um, that uh, John Lithgow doesn't necessarily have I think he he does a really good job in this one probably not as good as uh, as Gwen but still I think he, he does an admirable job. And he's very nice in this movie. So, like I said, I'm giving it a four out of five for the acting. So, moving on, uh, nudity uh, zero out of five. Yeah, there was a scene where, where uh, you know, husband and wife, doctor and wife are uh, getting a little frisky, and then the the, the uh, reanimated church comes in and uh, brings them a dead or dying bird. And that kind of kills the mood. So, yeah, zero out of five. Uh, enjoyment factor, though, is for me, it's a five out of five. Look, I when I watched this the first time, I was riveted. Um, when I watched it the second time, I still had those feelings of anticipation. I just like and I just love how this ends. I just love how the movie ends. I love that they went a different direction. Uh, once again, when I talk about remakes, reboots, it's like keep the spirit of the original, but try to do your own thing. And I think they did that. I think they they went uh, different enough uh, to make it its own thing, but still have that same spirit. And I think the two movies can live in the same universe, in the same world. Well, maybe you know what I'm talking about in reality. I'm not saying that they're shared universe. I'm saying. Within our world, our universe, these two movies can live and coexist, and people can enjoy them both. And it's not like one's going to bring down the other, and one's going to be, you know, ruining the other. It, it isn't, and that's really good. Uh, but I just, I just thoroughly enjoy this movie. It is very, very entertaining. I love all the 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 atmosphere it brings, the story, the fact that. When the person comes back, it's not immediately go to the weapons and start killing people, like in the original. This one, you get some sense of, you know, the person is, is actually back, in a way. But they kind of have an idea that things are not right, and, and stuff like that. And so I think those moments also add to the overall creepiness and atmosphere of the movie. We also get sort of the family reunion that we never really got in the original and that was also a very tense and well played scene and very powerful emotionally and so yeah i think overall like it's just to me it's a better movie overall they both are good i like them both but i really really love this one so five out of five 
And my overall impression is a four out of five. Um, look, I know that the, some of the things that go on in this movie are definitely there um, for people who watch the original. Uh, so it can do a little mess with your mind, a little misdirection, sort of say. Uh, and that it's really important, like, if you haven't watched the original, you probably should watch the original before you watch this one. Um, so those moments kind of mess with you. Though, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, because like I said, I have the knowledge of the original with me when I first watched this, and so I don't know how that changes things. Um, but I know definitely that the movie was playing tricks on me. Uh, a very important thing, though, is do not watch the trailer. Do not watch the trailer for this one. Uh, because the trailer is bullshit and it gives away one of the best scares and also gives away kind of the twist in the storyline. Um, however, I guess it's sort of been spoiled and it's out there in reality and most people will watch trailers before they watch a movie. I'm just saying please don't. Just try not to uh, go into this with, with as little knowledge about this particular one. You could still watch the original though and I think that does enhance the 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 experience but then again I mean I can't go back I can't unremember the first one and watch this again and you know not not have that in my mind so whatever I I still really think this is a very solid movie that I don't get the hate on I don't get why people trashed it I think they have maybe this sort of rose color uh, memories of the first one and they probably haven't watched it recently and so they're like, you know, it's just, it's just not that. I mean, it's not that. I mean, it is, but it's not. And I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed it. It's, it's a, it's a, a movie that came out recently. That's a horror movie that I think is better than the original. It's an amazing thing because most of the time, you know, I'm like, you know, 80s horror movies, 70s horror movies, awesome. 60s horror movies, great. Something 2010s. <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoyed this. I liked it. Uh, four out of five. That is my overall impression of this film. And that averages out to a solid, actually more than solid, 3.1 out of five. So there you have it. Pet Cemetery. I think it's better than the original, but I think they're both good films and both worthwhile and entertaining and both worth it for you to watch. Honestly, like the, the the creepiness of the the final act in the original Pet Cemetery is legendary, but I think overall this package and the ending, oh my gosh, I just I just I don't. It's just me. I like it. Anyways, so there you have it. Pet Cemetery. Tell me what you think in the comments. Did you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think no, the original is by far the best and this thing is utter trash? Or, yeah, you're right, this is really great. Or, they're both trash, they're both good, I don't know. But I think we both, we can have both of them, we both. Oh my gosh, see, huh. uh, getting toward the end, it's, it's, it's just all, it's all just a relief all of a sudden uh, to get through this oh, shotgun, gorilla style reviews, very little prep time, all that stuff, on the fly reactions, things like that. And we've made it, we've made it through another 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And I thank you for joining me this year again, watching these movies. Hopefully you found a movie that you're like, I need to check that out. And hopefully you check it out and you love it. And, you know, maybe, maybe there was a movie there like, I saw a movie or pieces of a movie. I can't remember the name. And then all of a sudden you saw a review and you're like, oh, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Now I know what that movie is, and I'm going to check it out again anyways. Uh, so, yes, thank you. Thank you once again for joining me. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys give me strength. You give me power so that I can rise uh, from the grave and make these movies, uh, movies, make these videos for you. Watch these movies and make these videos and uh, be really tired. <laughs> And so, yes, I'm going to rest now. But, like, as always, um, I will do a toast. I'm going to open up the 
wonderful skull full of vodka. Yeah, oh, someone thinks it's water. Oh, no, it is, it is vodka. And uh, let me uh, pour myself a shot here. Honestly, I think this is like a double. <laughs> Anyways, we put that down here. You put the cap in. Oh man, I'm starting to run low. And uh, I salute you, my viewers, whether you're subscribed or not. Um, it's all it's all for you and myself, of course. Uh, and I hope you have a very happy and wonderful Halloween. Dress up, go trick or treating, take your kids trick or treating, whatever. Get some candy, eat some candy, drink some uh, adult beverages, and have a safe night. And also, if I do not see you, have a wonderful holiday season, including Thanksgiving and Christmas. Hopefully, uh, I'll be talking to you guys uh, sooner than that, but you never know. I mean, like I said, whew, man, it does take a lot out of me. So a lot of, there was some, there was some very long nights within this uh, 31 nights. So, um, slancha, salu, kampai. Uh, cheers, and once again, thank you very much for another wonderful 31 nights of Halloween horror, and we'll do this again. Next year is going to be year 10, a decade of death, you would, you would say. Anyways, I am Zonkoku Tenshi. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out my other videos, and I will see you soon. Stay scary, Internet. God bless. Ooh, smooth. Blah!